Okay, this is the Review Raptor look at the Polytab. This is the Lollipop version. Um, Android Lollipop. You've got to be careful when you're out and about buying these things because there is an earlier version available on some online stores. And, uh, you're probably better off going for the latest version when it comes to Android. Let's have a look how long it takes to come on. Okay, quick press of the power button, which is top right hand side there. Um, excuse the blue tack, it's holding it in place. I kept doing this before and it slipped and banged on the table, so that's all that's for. It's not held together with blue tack because it's broke or anything. <laughs> Fairly quick, I think it's about 30 seconds thereabouts. Um, it was slightly faster when I first got it. This is about three months old now, this tablet. Um, I've been very pleased with it. I've run Netflix on it and a couple of games. <clears throat> so as I say, it's probably probably about 30% slower uh, than it was at, at booting up uh, than it was when we first bought it. Probably still on par with uh, other tablets that we've got though, uh, Nexus 7 included in in uh, as far as the boot time goes. Nearly there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so first thing we'll do, slide there, and let's have a look at, I don't know, typical things loading a browser. Google there, <clears throat> well, the URL on that browser is Google. Okay, so I'm on Wi Fi here, it's uh, probably about 50 megabits. Uh, Google's loaded there, logo's a bit faint today. I've got some kind of a blue logo on rather than the normal colourful one. Um, do a quick search. Hello. Oh, video popped up. Uh, so there you go, there's your browsing. Oh, at least doing a search. I'll get that app out of memory now because if I'm going to do something, I'm going to compare it with a, a fresh memory, nothing else to hamper it, which I think is fair. Obviously the more you load, the slower it will go. That's the same with anything. So Temple Run version 2. Uh, fairly heavy on the graphics. Game for the kids. What I'll do is I'll turn this round. <laughs> Try and get rid of the reflections. Not quite all in, but let's load him. We've got this game on a, on a Nexus 7 as well. Um, loading up, it's pretty much identical. I couldn't see any difference between the speed it loaded on that and on this. And click play. Uh, there it comes. If it goes. Nice smooth scrolling, colourful graphics. I've had people say that the display on this isn't uh, the best they've ever seen, but then again, for the money, what do you expect? It is, in fact, good enough to play this sort of game. As you can see, it's got a handy little button on the right hand side at the top, which is effectively a back button. As you can see, I'm clicking it, and that's for those programs and apps uh, where the programmers haven't been bothered to do a correct exit within the menu, which I find very handy. Okay, turn it around again, put it back on my trusty piece of blue tack. Okay, all in all, I think this is a great tablet. So much so, I've just ordered another one for the wife for Christmas. Um, let's have a look at the Anki Overdrive software. Yeah, it's got some sort of video type things in it and a bit of music. It's probably worth a look at for you. It plays it superbly. All this in a tablet which cost me £69 
sterling. It's probably about what hundred dollars if you're in the US. No, nope. very pleased with this tablet, and as I say, I've bought another one, and uh, I would recommend it. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.